Hello everybody and welcome. Thank you for joining me for another episode of Disc Creatures, a fun monster training game inspired by the Game Boy Color. In the last episode, we started episode five of the game and we have found out that there is this giant UFO depositing trash all over the place. And we are trying to figure out what's going on. But first we have to fight some enemies and have a little bit of Wow, that's metal wall. I did not expect that. Have a little bit of a battle and trying to level up. I do not know what me metal's weak against electric. I do know that, but I don't know what else is going to be good against it. Let's try water and the lightning. I know electric is going to hurt it pretty bad, but I don't know about any of the other ones. Wow and it did a lot of damage and it only moves a little bit sometimes these ones that come in here is it was it weak it was not weak to salt water wow that's not good but what's nice is that we can still attack and make it one of the interesting things about this game is every once in a while we'll get there's one disc creature there is an option between one and three disc creatures that you can battle and every once in a while it will give me one that is really high leveled above everything else and that's what we had i mean they're not necessarily high above my level but they are high above the surrounding creatures level and i only have so let's e-charge i guess is about all i can do eh, that's doesn't look nice i really would have to have rather have e-charge less than it's weak to earth but i'm not doing bracketron's not doing any damage to it one of the problem is that trimmer that bracketron has is a old move it's a really beginning move of bracketron it's just a like a real yeah, the damage is E type. It's not gonna be doing anything massive here. What I really need is some kind of earth type here, but I don't have it. I didn't level an earth type up, unfortunately. My Volt Gamma has Sandstorm, which would help. It, there's just so many types here that you really can't be prepared for everything and that's the trick about this game i think the trick like i said in the last episode you need four or five maybe six and i think it really depends on the types that you have if you can get not i don't say get away with but if you can find a few or choose a few that are multi-types like the great tamati and the volt gamma that's going to help you out much better than sticking with a single type like the bracketron the bracketron just has i gotta say the bracketron has a very varied skill set but it's mostly metal attacks some of the skill sets are the early skills that really don't pack a punch now where you need them here and that's really frustrating here and that's one of the difficulties here as well i'm going to grab sap and we should be able to take out this guy with no problem then tremor and sandstorm and hopefully that will take everybody out but i think it, see even if i chose my other guy my other guy was an onion which is another single type it is a grass type and i really think that the best thing you could do is pick a few several maybe am i out of i am out let's do a squash then because i don't think he's gonna last that long yeah let's go and you charge so you need to pick four maybe five disc creatures that have two types i think would be the best way to do it and the way i'm playing through if i was going to go back and play through it again although i love the bracketron his health is really high his varied amount of levels is really good 
there's a lot to him that's really good. I probably wouldn't choose him because he is a single attack disc creature and it's just really not beneficial in the long run to have him like that. It really doesn't help out the double ones, the ones that have a multi-type like the Great Tomati and the Bolt Gamma. The nice thing about them is that their high levels are also going to have some that are strong. Now the bracket, like I said, the Brachytron has a lot of variety in him, but a lot of the variety is on the early side so that when I need Trimmer, it's not going to do a lot of damage. But the Great Tamati, on the other hand, he has magic and grass all the way up through. So he has strong attacks like Sap that's going to do a lot of damage later in the game, even if it is, you know, weak to it or, or strong to it. I mean, there's, I've seen Brachytron's Tremor do very little damage, even if the thing is weak to that earth move and it just does still doesn't do very much damage because the damage type is an e which is a really low damage type it goes from e all the way up to s and s is after a i know that sounds weird but it's e d c b a s that's worst to best in the damage Things only get worse up ahead, dude. Well, thanks for uh, the vote of confidence. Oh, see, now here's a nice, interesting variety of... He definitely has a nice variety here, and I'm not sure to what, what, what to hit these people with because they're so... I think that... I'm going to hit Metal Launcher. It's not going to hurt the Metal very much, but I don't know about the other two, and... Sandstorm is a D. Let's try Thunder Whip. I know the metal's weak to thunder. The thunder in the middle is not going to be strong or weak, but I don't know about the water either. Is it strong? No, the water is weak to electric. So at least two out of the three were weak to electric, which is good. That's really going to be very helpful there. And that's kind of what I was hoping for. And then the metal launcher can hit the middle guy. I was hoping hard on a hard way, but it didn't. And here, I think the best thing to use on my great Tamati is going to be an energy silver on him. That would probably be the best thing. Should I try something else instead of the metal launcher? I need to really look at his again and maybe choose some more of these items. See, this is a, that's a B, which is not bad, but that's a D and that's an E, which really doesn't help me much. Let's try salt water on him. And then I'm going to use thunder whip again. And hopefully that's going to do enough damage overall to, I mean, that gear guy is weak to electric, but I can't get him knocked out. He still is standing pretty strong here. This is probably the hardest disc R that I've had in a while. They're usually a lot easier than, well, at the very beginning, they were really hard to be honest, but because they seem to be a level or two above the surrounding creatures, now they seem to be a level or two below them. But this guy is definitely in it. It's his variety. I can't go in and hit him with one move and take out everybody. The whole thing here is the variety in his disc creatures makes it hard for me to attack effectively. Hey, it looks like you'd probably be able to make it through though. I got a D numb. Let's go ahead and go back up here and heal again since I just got a beaten you could actually go into each battle here and come back here because this computer is in the middle. Most times they're at the beginning or the end. 
so now i can go up here and do a battle and then turn right back around and heal up if it doesn't go well electric metal type that's an interesting type because metal is weak to electric so that is very interesting i wonder how that will work out uh, oh no 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 we don't want to put it on that one we want to do sap on the mayamic i don't know let's try tremor and then i'm gonna do sandstorm hopefully to take out the electric one first it might also hurt this other one down on the end i don't know if it's gonna be weak to earth because i think metal is strong against earth oh well the efo went out pretty easy there Hey, that that was actually rather way 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 much easier than i thought it was going to be i really expected that to be much harder when i first saw those yeah trimmer and sandstorm should take it out pretty easily yep that is what i was expecting and you, that's one reason don't expect be careful what you expect when you go into an enemy because i have had times where i thought oh i'll just wipe the floor with these guys and then there's other times where i'm like whoa i so didn't expect it to be that incredibly easy so it just it's a variety sometimes you never know what's going to happen although a lot of times when there's three electric like this and i have two electric or earth moves i feel that i'm going to punch right through them but I've been I've been fooled before, so I'm not sure what's gonna happen. Oh, we got knocked down a couple things. That is not good. But that trimmer going through should be able to do a lot of damage here. And then the sandstorm in the next round. Yeah, let's just go ahead and I really kind of wish I could just say, oh, he can't move. I didn't Oh no, that's not good. Because he got knocked down before his move in that round shoot i wasn't paying that close of attention i should have paid a little bit closer attention there and noticed that and knew that it wasn't going to do, go that way kind of na nauseum disc that's kind of cool yay level up Woo i love levels levels up level ups levels ups i'm not sure exactly how to say that i got 10 pico yay what is oh I don't, i'm not sure i want is that going to be an ambush i kind of wanted to just get out of there and i did get ambushed that's not necessarily a good thing but because my bracketron is really hurt and he's going to be weak to these electric types which is not good i think what's crash bomb oh the crash bomb yeah i have that i hate it i don't know why they would use it because it does some damage to a disc creature but then does how does it work some damage to one enemy disc creature but then a lot of damage to your disc creatures or something like that or a lot to enemies but then some to you so basically whatever it is that move hurt your disc creatures and that's no way and there's just why would you do that i don't understand why you would use a an ability that hurts yourself yeah see crash bomb ends up hurting them but they both dodge out of the way and we took a little bit of damage it just doesn't make sense that you would do something like that but that's i don't know that's my opinion i may not always be right you know that's kind of crazy thought there but it's a possibility we do need to heal up but i want to get out of here before these things pop up out of the grass again there we go i need to heal some up there we go and he's yeah 150 i guess that would top him off it doesn't is, i wouldn't need it all 150 but I usually go ahead and use it when it's close. These guys are like all kinds of squirrely anymore. They're a lot harder to hit than before. It seems like maybe because they're electric and they jump around so much. I got ambushed. How'd I get ambushed? I was chasing you down. That's so not right. 
Let's see. I'm not too worried. My Braxtron's the only one that I'm really worried to. He's actually weak to earth and electric, which is not a good thing. He is not a good disc creature to have in this area, but I can hold off here and I don't know. I wouldn't want anybody else really. I guess I could do onion instead of him, but I'm not sure I'd want to do that either. Come on, dodge out of the way, please. I'm worried that, yeah, my Brachytron dodged out of the way. Awesome. I was a little worried that he was going to get hit there. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. We did, we did it. We, we, we were, we, we made it. I could use sap. The great owl in this confusion. Can I use this? That might be a better use. If he's confused, I don't want him to hit himself. That would just seem silly for me to do that. He will he use energy and silver to heal my guy? I did. I wasn't paying close enough attention to see if it got the uh, health up right. Oh well, I think we're okay. Just need to keep on pressing forward. Yay! More electric types. And I'm actually kind of hurt here. We really need to find something that's going to do a little bit better here. And I'm trying to think of what my onion had. He did have some earth moves, but I'm thinking it was just like Tremor, which is what Brachytron has, which is really not gonna help any if Brachytron's not doing any more damage. So we took him out. Well, it looks like we're gonna take all three of them out in one round, so I'm not too worried about that. There we go. Well, almost, Brachytron's almost up to another level. I would like to see what he is, but I can't. I can't jump onto the... Uh, this doesn't look like it's gonna be fun here. Can I just... Oh, nope, I went the wrong way and I'm gonna get ambushed. Yep, yep, I got ambushed. So we're gonna have to be really careful here, especially with my Brachytron. He's close to a level, but he's gonna be really hurting here if I'm not careful. Let's see what we can... Oh, wow, everybody got hit there. That's not cool. Not cool at all. Item... We got to make sure my Brachytron lives because he's the one of the ones that has the ones that can do damage here. That's the thing. I need to make sure that my Earth, the only two that can do Earth attacks, has something to Earth attack with. Did they dodge out of the way? They keep on dodging out of the way. Oh, wow, man. My Brachytron's definitely taking some major damage here with these electric attacks. And it's not a 150 is really not helping me out much. I'm barely holding him back alive. Let's item. These are going to go down really quickly if I can't keep him up a little bit better here. Let's I'm trying to not get ambushed. That's what I'm hoping for here. Sap would be great. Let's just get him and hopefully we'll be able to get these taken out without too many tr too much trouble That sap does the wonders on him and I'm not too worried about that the sap should kill that Mamek pretty easily And I don't have to worry about him and it refills my Great tomati too. So that's like double double whammy there or a double goodness. Any dodge out of the way, that little trickster. We're basically gonna just do the same thing. Sap him, Tremor, and Sandstorm. I don't think it's gonna make it to him. Well, maybe. There's the sap. That's nice. I like that. That worked out kind of well for me. If I can go, yeah, I need to go head on into these guys and not get ambushed. That's really what hurts us here, is getting ambushed in these attacks. Magical veil on him, but again, my my Volt Gamma might need a magical veil as well. But my Volt Gamma is not going to be weak against the uh, lightning either. So you got that. I don't know which one's 
more to worry about. He, the Brachytron definitely has more life, but he's going to be worked weak to any electric hit he gets. I'm kind of hoping just to keep Brachytron live long enough, really in some ways, just long enough so that he can get his next level up and when they level up they get all their health back so i'm kind of just pushing that and he should be getting really close here trying to follow the path here and see which way i need to go i don't want to be backed into a corner with these guys can i get out of here yeah i got out of here i hope that's not an ambush i was there facing him but that 39 there really worries me let's go with gold but again he's electric and i would hope that oh we're all about 39 but still i am definitely worried about this battle here yes he took 186 off right off the bat there and that's definitely going to make a big difference here and my Brachytron might be going down here. Depending on how this works out. See if... Oh, okay. So, my Volt Gamma knock, got knocked down. Oh, the big guy got knocked out. Out of all three of them, the big guy is the one that gets knocked out. That's funny. However, we've got someone that is confused. And somebody that is knocked over... So I actually am going to grab a silver and heal him up. He's not going to be able to do anything because he can't move. I think that's probably the best way to do that. Maybe not the smartest use of all my characters, but I don't know if I have a choice. And he keeps on getting knocked down. Hopefully these tricks are going to be able to knock him out because the confusion on the... Brachytron means that it's possible he hits an ally, which I don't want. And then the bracket or the Volt Gamma is knocked over so he can't get up. So I'm kind of like stuck here a little bit in what I can do. There we go. We got him through. Wow, that was kind of a toughie. There we go. Yay, my Brachytron leveled up. Did he get any... I'm wondering if he's getting any... Oh, he learned a new move. That's what I was actually hoping for. Let's see what that new move is. See if it's going to be something... No, it's a mega attack. Knocks down user after use. Wow, that doesn't seem like a good thing here. Hmm. I could try Rock Hammer. Always attacks can debuff mind. Laser can debuffs barrier. I'm not sure again. I don't want to do self-destruct. That's for sure. The salt water's damage. I don't know. I'm thinking about taking away the brush away. It's not helping me here. And I'm wondering if one of these rock moves would be better. Let's try this rock hammer and see what it does. And see if that's a better choice with the things that are ahead of me. I don't know. That's a specific type. It's a stone type versus earth, which is another different type. And I'm wondering how they all play out. It's it's a wide variety, to, to be honest with you. It's, it's hard to tell sometimes what's going to do. Let's see what Rock Hammer does against this lightning and see if rock and stone both hurt lightning or not i think the next move is going to give some health to bolt gamma so he is weak to earth so the i'm waiting to see there's the sap go down it's knocked him out not a problem it's going to hit every oh it's going to hit him several times there's the rock hammer okay the rock hammer did 133 but he was not weak to it I'm going to try the rock hammer on this guy and see what happens. The sandstorm is going to take out the first guy. No problem with no issue at all. I'm not sure the sap is going to really do, but it's going to help me out. 
Rock Hammer, he is, he's strong versus stone. So the Rock Hammer is really not helping me out much here, unfortunately. He is a metal metal type. I could try salt water and see what that does. I do know lightning. Oh man, I have 12 and I'm just, uh, oh man, just, just a little bit off. I know metal types are weak to lightning, so that would have done is oh it's not gonna tell me though because i knock him out it won't tell you if it's strong or weak i want to see what's up here i kind of always want to peek into the next area let's see what should we be surprised when bizarre things happen in this bizarre world of ours or does that just mean everything's normal one phenomenon that's certainly not normal is that the scarecrows that pop up between the Juglin village and pecan forest what do you have to say you're a discard right do something about that thing flying around i'm trying to what's going on your creatures are jump started and ready to go i wonder what that did carry in carry out keep our forests clean well okay did it heal them I'm curious. Oh yeah, because this, this computer does not give me access to the heal feature. I bet that guy does. I'm wondering, I want to, I, I'm, yeah, I'm just out of curiosity. I'm not gonna check out the disc, but I do want to see what kind of moves my onion. We're gonna throw him in here. He is a 32. I'm not sure what level that is with everybody else. I want to switch him out for, I might not be a good idea, but we'll see. I kind of want to see what his moves are again. Oh, I know he's already on my team. Stop doing things I tell you to do and do what I want you to do. So I got to go to equipment. So he's a little, wow, he's several levels down, 32 versus 38. But I want to see his moves. Really, I want to see. We've got, yeah, we had Tremor. We have one random Toxic Spray and Poison Wave and I Beam, but it's mostly grass types here. We have, yeah, random Water type and a random Tremor. I don't think this is going to be a good. I think the. Volt Gamma was a much better choice and these are the four that I have to choose from or I Go back and redo everything not redo everything But completely level up somebody and that's not really what I want to do. I Really don't want to Try to go back and level someone up from scratch Oh, yeah, I know that. I keep on hitting the wrong button. I got to put that equipment back on him just to make sure it's ready to go because that's one of my favorite equipments is the disc recorder. That's quite nice. Peek into the new next area and then I think we're going to call it an episode. Yeah, that's kind of scary up there. So we're going to hop back here we're gonna stay here we're gonna go out further in the next episode and see if we can find out what's going on with this ufo thank you so much for watching i do appreciate it and i will see you all next time bye everybody